In a suburb near southwest Houston, 11-year-old Leah lived a normal and happy life with her loving family. However, the peace in their community was shattered when Leah was abducted on May 1, 2001. The disappearance sent shockwaves through the neighborhood, prompting a frantic search by law enforcement and the local community. Leah's father, Tim, was captured on footage moments before receiving a call from the FBI informing him that his daughter had been found, though he remained unaware of further details. Prior to Leah's abduction, similar incidents occurred in the region. Nine-year-old Nikki was snatched from outside her home in San Antonio, but miraculously reappeared near her mother's house after a widespread search effort. Another abduction took place on April 16th when 11-year-old Lisa was forcibly taken while playing with her sister. Despite descriptions provided by witnesses of a white male with a hatchback, the perpetrator managed to evade capture after releasing the girls unharmed. These incidents painted a chilling picture of a serial kidnapper operating across Texas and Louisiana, targeting young children in broad daylight. The community was gripped by fear as law enforcement struggled to apprehend the elusive predator. However, Leah's abduction marked a turning point in the investigation. She ultimately managed to escape her captor, bringing an end to his reign of terror and providing crucial information to law enforcement. The story of Leah's abduction took place on May 1st, 2001 when she was excited for the end of the school year. Leah's terrifying experience begins when she steps off the school bus. As she walks home, a white car approaches, driven by a man who seems friendly enough. He asks Leah if she babysits, but she politely declines, knowing better than to talk to strangers. Despite her refusal, the man persists, blocking her path and insisting she meet his children. Despite her instincts telling her something is wrong, Leah, feeling reassured by the man's seemingly harmless demeanor, reluctantly agrees to get into the car. As they drive, the mood shifts from uneasy to downright terrifying. Suddenly, without warning, the man violently breaks off the door handle, sending chills down Leah's spine. Fear grips her as she realizes the danger she's in, but at just 11 years old, she struggles to fully comprehend the gravity of the situation. When they arrive at a secluded alley, Leah's worst fears are confirmed as the man reveals a gun and duct tape, using them to bind her hands, feet, and mouth, rendering her completely helpless. In that moment, Leah's world is turned upside down as she finds herself at the mercy of a dangerous stranger. Despite her fear, she summons every ounce of courage she has, determined to survive whatever ordeal lies ahead. But little does she know, this is just the beginning of her harrowing journey. Helpless and terrified, Leah is forced to cower in the back seat as they drive further away from her home. The car eventually stops in a desolate area, leaving Leah vulnerable and isolated. Here, the man subjects her to unspeakable horrors, leaving Leah traumatized and in tears. As they resume their journey, Leah, desperate for escape, attempts to open the car door despite her restraints. However, her efforts are in vain, and the man warns her of the consequences of trying to escape. Despite her despair, Leah's determination to survive flickers on as they approach a small hunting cabin late into the night. The next morning, Leah awakens to the harsh reality of her captivity. Bound to a table with a zip tie, she is reminded of the man's warning about the consequences of attempting to escape. Terrified and alone, Leah feels a sense of hopelessness creeping in as she contemplates her situation. With the man gone, leaving her bound and vulnerable. Alone in the cabin, Leah summons the courage to free herself from the confines of the zip tie. Despite her newfound freedom, she remains paralyzed by fear, unable to muster the strength to venture into the unknown. The threats made by her captor loom large in her mind, keeping her rooted in place despite her overwhelming desire to escape. Despite her fear and despair, Leah clings to thoughts of her family, finding solace in the hope that they are safe and searching tirelessly for her. As the sun rises on the second day of her captivity, Leah feels a surge of determination as she hears the man returning. Despite her fear, she composes herself, longing to offer comfort to her sister whose face she sees in a newspaper. This gives her a stark reminder of her family's tireless search efforts and the man's cruel taunts only serve to strengthen Leah's resolve as she holds on to the hope that her family's unwavering determination will lead to her rescue. In an act of defiance, Leah decides to document her terrifying ordeal. With unwavering determination, she gathers her strength and courage, taking photographs and meticulously recording every detail in her agenda. Despite her physical weakness, Leah relies on the power of her mind, resolved to outsmart her captor and leave behind undeniable evidence of her suffering. As darkness descends once again, Leah braces herself for another round of abuse, 
drawing strength from the love and determination of her family. Despite feeling battered and broken, Leah remains unwavering in her determination to endure. With each passing moment, she holds on to the hope that her ordeal will soon come to an end, and she will be reunited with her family once more. On the third morning of her captivity, Leah is jolted awake by a sudden commotion outside the cabin. Despite being alone, she hesitates to move, but her senses are on high alert to the unfamiliar noise. With each passing minute, her anxiety mounts as she waits in fearful anticipation. Suddenly, the man rushes back inside. His urgency seems quite obvious as he instructs Leah to dress and gather her belongings because they're leaving. Confused and fearful, Leah senses the man's growing unease, fueled by reports that authorities are closing in on him. With a pillowcase covering her head, Leah is led to the car, as her mind is swirling with uncertainty about their destination and what awaits her on the outside. Amidst her apprehension, Leah's ears catch the unmistakable sound of tires crunching on gravel, approaching closer with each passing moment. During this, the man whispers and urges her to remain silent as unfamiliar voices draw nearer, signaling the arrival of law enforcement. With her heart racing, Leah braces herself for the unknown, hoping against hope that this might be her chance for freedom. It is revealed that Sergeant Bill Eider of the Kerr County Sheriff's Department responded to a tip, leading him to the isolated cabin where Leah was held captive. Despite initially overlooking the suspect's vehicle, which has been hastily repainted, Bill Eider approaches the parked car, unaware of the danger that lurks inside. As the officer confronts the armed suspect, Leah cowers in the back seat, paralyzed with fear. The tension mounts as she listens while praying for a peaceful resolution. In a split-second decision born of desperation, Leah seizes her chance for escape as the man's attention is diverted. With adrenaline coursing through her veins, she bolts from the car toward the safety of the approaching police vehicle, heedless of the potential danger. As Bill Eider instructs her to get into the back seat, Leah doesn't hesitate. Her mind races as she realizes this may be her best chance at escape. As they drive away, gunshots ring out, and Leah, instructed to duck down, fears for her life. Bill Eider calls for backup as they speed away, and his focus is solely on getting Leah to safety. Meanwhile, 300 miles away in Houston, Tim receives a call from the FBI informing him that Leah has been found alive. Overwhelmed with relief, he and his family rush to FBI headquarters to reunite with Leah. A local pilot volunteers to fly them to Kerrville, where Leah is being brought back to the Sheriff's Department in a police car. As Leah is reunited with her family at the Sheriff's Department, emotions run high. Tim embraces his daughter tightly, feeling a flood of joy and gratitude at having her back. Leah's sister, whose image had given her strength during her captivity, regains her smile as she sees Leah safe and sound. Meanwhile, law enforcement closes in on Gary Dale Cox's cabin, only to find him deceased from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. While Leah is relieved that Cox can no longer harm anyone else, she harbors mixed feelings, wishing she could have seen him face justice for his crimes. Returning home, Leah is greeted by a community overflowing with love and support. Despite the trauma she endured, Leah's journey is one of hope and resilience. As of now, she is pursuing her dream of becoming a marine biologist and uses her experience to inspire others to persevere in the face of adversity. Leah's story serves as a powerful reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is hope for recovery and renewal. Her determination to reunite with her family and reclaim her life is a testament to the strength of the human spirit, 